the key looking... mandates, uh, Minister Fortier, of the Treasury Board is effective management of the public purse, providing guidance so that resources are soundly managed across government with a focus on results and value for money. And if the public purse was managed effectively, we wouldn't be seeing the massive inflationary spending by, the, by your government resulting in inflation rates that we haven't seen in 40 years. Wouldn't you say that's accurate? Well, we are, are continuing, and I think that you can see in the supplementary estimates how we are producing and showing Canadians that we are soundly managing uh, our government's purse and supporting Canadians Unfortunately, in the, many... Unfortunately, the, uh, the subtitle is provided by the Parliamentary Budgetary Officer is why the government wants another $21 billion. It's not very flattering. Um, Minister Forty, and if the Treasury Board was in fact meeting its mandate of effectively managing the public purse, if there was no effective oversight of the billions of dollars this government continues to shut out, resulting in higher inflation, can, can you not take responsibility for that, Minister Forty, as the individual who is responsible for overseeing the public purse, which economists agree is responsible for in, in the inflationary spending that we're seeing and therefore the high inflation rates? Can you take responsibility for that? Well, again, I'd like to demonstrate the fact that in the last two years we've been in this very difficult pandemic. It has disrupted supply chains. It has disrupted also cost of living. We know inflation is high. Our country is in a better position than many other G7 countries. We have also made sure that we are bringing targeted supports to help those vulnerable Canadians that are having a hard time right now and we will continue to monitor. I'm working closely of course with the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance to make sure that what she has brought forward in the budget we are spending it accordingly and having the necessary authorities to make sure the departments are uh, moving and forward And what she's with brought results. forward, uh, Minister Fortier, is $6.1 billion of new spending and a $36.4 billion deficit this fiscal year alone. Now, uh, the Parliamentary Budgetary Officer was actually being kind when he said $21 billion <coughs> because uh, your government, of course, is actually asking Parliament for another $25.78 billion. So why hasn't the government adapted the, the pay-as-you-go model, or why haven't they looked at it un until this point, do you think? I, I know that finally the Deputy Prime Minister is starting to consider this. Um, she's mentioned this to your cabinet. Why did it take so long for, for uh, you and the Deputy Prime Minister to, to, con to consider the pay-as-you-go model? We, and a uh, very brief 20-second answer, please. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Chair. I, as again, as I say, we are uh, showing today in the uh, budget um, estimates that we are uh, looking forward to Parliament adopting this so we can continue the work to support Canadians in all of the uh, amounts that are um, 